Hi and uh, welcome. We're going to cover today a quick Nuke tip and uh, of course Maya tip as well. Today we're going to concentrate on exporting animated objects out of Maya using the Alembic system instead of the traditional FBX system. So in this scene I have two things. I have two F-15s um, flying towards the camera or with the camera in this case and we have the camera doing a little bit of animation as well. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and export these objects into Nuke uh, quickly and efficiently using the Alembic system. So the first thing that we got to do is we got to make sure to go to the Windows menu, go to Setting Preferences, Plugin Manager, and what you want to make sure is that you have the ABC Export, ABC Import uh, loaded so you can actually use the Alembic menu. Let's go ahead after you make sure of that. The next thing is we're going to go to Pipeline Cache. And before we actually export elements, you can see that you could export everything that you have on the scene. You could go ahead and export selection. So that's essentially what we're going to do. We're going to export selection to Olympic. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to select the rendering camera that I have so I could use it as well. So it's inside the scene. And I'm going to select the objects that I have as well. So I'm going to select the two F-15s that I got in there um, in order to be able to export those out and use them in Nuke. The next thing is go to Pipeline Cache. That menu should be activated when you set up Alembic. Explore Alembic to Selection Options box. And make sure that you're either using the Time Slider where you have all your animation. And, or you could use the Start and End if you don't want to export everything. The good thing about Alembic is that it's extremely efficient. It's a very small footprint. The file sizes are small in comparison to the FBXs. So the next thing is... Um, we're going to cut a couple things on in here. So the first two, we're going to leave it off. The last one, we're going to leave it off. And everything in the middle, we're going to leave on. And the next thing, we're going to go ahead and export the selection. From there, I'm just going to go ahead and export it. And usually, if by um, you have your scene set up already done, so usually I always set up my project in Maya. That's kind of a given, right, as a basic element. Um, you're going to have a cache file inside that Maya folder. Automatically, there's an Alembic cache file in there that you don't have to create if you set up your project correctly. And in there, I'm going to save it. So I'm just going to go ahead and give it a name. In this case, it's my F15 Geo and camera that I'm going to be exporting. And then just export selection. You, I'm going to replace this one so I could do it again. And you're going to see that it goes through the whole animation, 150 frames, very quickly, very efficiently. And the next step is after we have that folder done, you will see that on the Alembic file there, on your cache, you will see your cache file name .abc at the end. So the next thing is in Nuke. I want to work with that file in Nuke. I want to go ahead and, and create something with that. Um, so essentially, I want to create something like this where I have my objects um, in there, and I want to work with that, probably add some trails and particles inside of Nuke. So... Um, so what I'm going to do for this is uh, I just have something that I'm going to use, just a projection there that I'm going to use for texturing my objects uh, really quickly, uh, just so I could see them. But let's go ahead and import the Alembic file into Nuke. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to hit R for read. I'm just going to browse to that Alembic folder. So I'm going to go to my F15 folder, cache file, Alembic cache, and there you go. You have your .abc folder in there. So I'm going to hit open and you're going to get a little window that showcases pretty much what you need um, from those objects. So you could do two things. Either you could create all in one or create everything as parents or separate parents. But you could turn it on and off whatever you don't want here on your on your list or scene hierarchy. And I'm going to say create all in one. I want all these guys to be actually in one. So create all in one. Okay, perfect. I'm going to have three axes here. Those axes are, I use it for particle systems, so right now I don't care about those. And you will see that now I have my read geo. And my objects are now inside of Nuke in full 3D. And they also have the full animation, um, so I could work with them. They are a little bit heavy right now, so what I'm going to do is later on I'm going to show you a little trick and how to actually apply proxy mode to this. Uh, so you can have a low-res version or representation of the aircrafts. Um, on the fly when you hit proxy. So after I have this is good, I'm gonna go ahead and texture them really quick. Usually I'm using a projection of the same render animation or whatever uh, at this stage. So let's go ahead and stop the animation here. Let's go ahead and connect that to the scene. And then I need my camera. In this case, I didn't create the camera if you see. So I'm gonna create a new camera very quick. If you do it as a separate node, automatically the camera will be generated for you. So I'm gonna connect that in. So I got my camera input in there, all right? 
And I'm going to use the same camera for my projection because it's the same animation camera. So I'm going to use it to project it onto my aircraft there. Uh, so the next thing is loading my camera. So in order to load the camera, double click on that camera. I'm going to go ahead into my camera, read from file, select read from file in there, right? Open up your Alembic element. So let's say I'm going to go to my Dropbox and find my Alembic system here, Maya. And then it goes to my cache, Alembic. Um, and that way you hit enter and pretty much it reloads everything. Um, and right now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go back to my camera. And I'm going to have exactly the same perspective that I had inside of Maya with my subtle animation on my, on my uh, system. Okay, so now that we have that, I'm just going to go ahead and texture them really quick with the renders that I did from Maya, just for now. But the cool thing about this is if I need to do... Um, motion blur and a couple other things to the aircraft, add extra highlights, extra lighting, and and so on and so forth, I will be able to do all this. So it gives you a lot of flexibility having all this um, inside of, uh, of Nuke as well. So the next thing is I'm going to go ahead and texture them very quick. So I just have uh, a render pass that I did, and I'm going to just project that through the same camera animation, and there we go. So there will be my aircraft's uh, textures, very subtle textures based on projection system, and those textures will follow um, based on the animation. So that's it. That's been a quick tip on how to export Alembic animation, uh, non-deformed animation from Maya and put it back into uh, Nuke. I hope that helps and um, I'll be building another one um, pretty much uh, so you guys could see uh, with animation or with deformations how you actually could export the same Alembic system. Alright, so I hope you guys enjoy it. Bye-bye.